Chris McLogan, and this is Open Live Q&A, I believe week number 154. So I want to do something a little bit different. I did my live stream um, last week. I always do it on, on my mobile, but uh, one of the things I wanted to try out was doing just kind of the mobile version. Um, and it, I think from what I have seen, they're trying to, or at least on YouTube, from what I've talked to them, is they're trying to give like a little bit better experience with the, the mobile version. So therefore, um, if you are on your mobile, it's a little bit easier to be able to see, like you can kind of go through like the chat. It's a, a little bit floating and stuff like that. And, and then yeah, you're still able to like post questions. The only thing I won't be able to do for a live stream like this is um, be able to go ahead and like check my questions. So like, Typically, when you guys go to the um, the live stream, you can go and post your questions on brianmclogan.com forward slash Q&A, and uh, that's where students can go ahead and submit questions, where I answer the questions each and every week. So, hey, Arab, good to have you on. Um, but, but yeah, so that's kind of the downfall with uh, doing a mobile live stream um, like this. But I did want to say hi to Computer Jerry, greetings, and John Lemon, how do you function in function rotation? Well, unfortunately, today is not going to be a big live stream where I'm going to get into the math portion. But um, I can definitely go ahead and bring that in. Again, if you guys do have any questions, I wonder if I can even. No, yeah, because I'm not using my software. What I think next week what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually test this out using um, streaming software, but then using it on the mobile version. So uh, how can I prove my worth at gig? That's a great one. How you help me with math when I teach you? Well, thank you, Ariel. So happy to help you out. Um, so I will get to your question, Peter Jerry, about the improving your work at work ethic, because um, I think I have something for you on that. But uh, but yeah, so next week I'll try to go ahead and work on my um, on doing some of that um, or doing like the mobile stream, so therefore I can still use the notation or the annotations on my mobile stream software. Um, I think that might help out, and I think that'll be a little bit more easier than using like the mobile version as I have right here, which is still cool. I still like it, but uh, but yeah, it's kind of weird. So what's up? Is that uh, special? So I think one of the cool things that the, or one of the things I wanted to, you know, going into as far as the, can a bearing also be called a heading? Um, yes, I usually the bearing would be regator some mats um, from that. Yeah, I'm more on math teacher. Well, thank you so much. Um, so let me go and talk about improving your work ethic um, really from on there. I'm used to seeing, yeah, I know it's kind of weird, isn't it? It's weird for me. This is literally like my third mobile version I'm doing. So as, I think as far as like improving the, um, as far as improving your work ethic, I think one of the big things that I think you really want to focus on is like, what are you trying to improve your work ethic for, right? What are you really reaching for? And I think when you, when you have a, when you have like an end in mind, um, what you want to improve, what you want to achieve, then I think that's something that the work ethic is going to follow. And so what I'm really trying to like talk my way around and, and really kind of say is like, you got to set goals, right? And if you have goals of like, this is what I want to achieve and this is how I'm going to do it. Here's the micro goals that I need to achieve to achieve this larger goal. You know, that's going to make you work harder for what it is you really want to achieve. And so if to answer your question, like very basically and plainly would be to like, yeah, like set goals, you know, set goals and mark your progress, write them down. Like I have a planner um, that I use and it is uh, like one of the things on the planner is like we used to set goals. And one of the things I do with my students was I always used to make them, you know, set goals and stuff like that. So these, um, so yeah, I think it's something really important that um, you should, you know, definitely look into, especially now this time of the year, you know, it's really important for people to, um, sit down, kind of reflect on the last year, and then also, you know, reflect on like where, what you want to achieve. Now, being as a, as a teacher for so many years, I still go through years, not like in our calendar years, but I go through by school year, right? So the beginning of the year to me always kind of starts in like August or July actually. And I kind of end the year in like June. So that's just the way I've been programmed my whole life. So I kind of still don't consider like, I'm not a big goal person at the beginning of this year, I do have like some personal goals, but anything as far as, you know, education or YouTube or anything like that, like that's always going to follow on that, the school year, you know, kind of goal stuff. So my big goal session is really in like the summer. That's where I spend a lot of my time with goals. But, um, you know, I think when you're trying to improve your worth, I think like, yeah, like, you know, set some goals. So for math learning versus what's behind your own channel. Well, yeah, of course my own channel. Um, you know, I'm, there's so many more resources now um, that are out there, you know, that you guys can use. So, you know, I would, I mean, I do like Khan Academy. I mean, it is free and, you know, I use, I mean, there's a lot I don't like about Khan Academy that I've used. Um, but I think as far as like the freeness, the, the, I think the ability 
for you to have an explanation, a written explanation, a video explanation is very helpful. I do like brilliant, you know, it's just as far as like learning math and everything from there. Um, so, so yeah, you know, that I think that's, um, I, I think anything where you can kind of get, because sometimes like I can, like learning software that like does the math problem for you can sometimes be helpful, but sometimes they might not, you know, with everything's being computer generated, you know, with AI and stuff, like it might not provide the best explanation. And uh, so that's why I was like having different explanations as far as like a written or a video and stuff like that. Uh, I like the organic chemistry teacher. I mean, I don't know uh, him, but uh, I think his videos and channel is great. So, you know, I can only give him kudos for all the work, hard work and stuff he's done from on there. Um, and there's something else. With, oh, yeah, something special was that's my Christmas. Well, I had a pretty good Christmas. I do celebrate Christmas. And uh, I went back up to uh, Michigan. And that's the time my family. And I was going to go live on Monday. But I ended up going to the Quick Lane Bowl, which is in Detroit. And uh, so it was just like... It was too much. It was too much for me to go live uh, for around there. And then I was going to go on Tuesday night, but then I was back with family. It was my last night before we traveled. And then we just got back in today. So I was like, all right, that's right, that'll be fine. Uh, but I'll definitely, I'm not going to do it. I don't think I'll do a live on, maybe I will. Actually, it'll be the last night of the year. Maybe I should do one more live stream on that. That's a great idea. All right, yeah. Maybe, I, well, maybe New Year's Eve. I don't know. I don't think I have any plans. I don't think we're doing any plans. We have three young kids, so it's not really as exciting when they go to bed at nine o'clock and they don't want to stay up late. So, um, the, so yeah, I, I might go live on ooh, computer curry. Got some good questions. Um, I'm not going to go live. Uh, I might go live on Sunday or I might go live on Monday. I don't really know. And it is weird. I kind of moved my channel over here so I could get something different. So a couple of goals, you know, this is the, um, and as again, I mentioned, a lot of my goals are coming from the middle, middle of the year. Um, from there. And one of the things I really want to do is like build up my courses um, that I've been having. I wanted to start my other channels and I really wanted to expand my network. So one thing you will be seeing is like a little bit more of my content um, on other social medias like to improve. Um, I really want to improve my channel. I really wanted to get to 2 million um, and and just kind of try to make, you know, some better content um, in that regard. And so I don't think I'm going to get to 2 million, but I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on, you know, testing things, trying things um, and stuff like that. And, you know, I think shorts is going to be a really, really big um, part of that. So I, I do have a lot of shorts content that I'm working. I'm going to be putting those on my other channels, which I think maybe, maybe I'll let you guys, maybe I'll let the, let you guys know about that um, on there. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to release those, but I'll be doing some of that. Um, so anyways, the, um, but yeah, that's, um, that's one of the things that I want to, you know, kind of provides like really just kind of build out my network. I do want to be working less. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody really understands like what I do every day. Like they're like, Oh, you don't teach in school. Like it's like, I do math videos all day or think about videos or organize videos or like it's, it's very intense and it's very sometimes overwhelming. Um, I feel like there's so many things I have to do at all times. And so I really would like to kind of simplify, um, simplify my life. And that was actually one of my goals that I had in mid-year was like, so get some more people to like, just so I'm not working so much less. Um, I still want to be the face and name of my channel and stuff like that. So I, I like, I have so many more math videos that I need to create. So I'm going to keep on doing that. But I definitely want to um, expand out. Like I really want to um, grow not only my channel, but other channels. And I want to grow my content. Uh, I want to improve my content. So I have a lot of those like kind of goal metrics and stuff like that. You know, 2 million was just kind of one of those like, you know, subscribers, but it's all vanity. So it doesn't really matter anyways. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, then there's some other, some boring, you know, kind of stuff like that. I do, I'm not going to tell you about that one. That's a good goal. Uh, that, that'll be coming up uh, from on there. So I have some other special goals that um, I'm excited to, but I don't want to, I, I don't want to give them away yet. So um, you'll be hearing about them though, for sure. So I just have a lot of work on my on my own to be able to do that. And so that is, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do from on there. So, um, but, you know, I think I think one thing is that, you know, is is really good to to think about, you know, as we are closing out to the year is to always to like reflect back. And that's one thing that, you know, I talk with students or, you know, I talk with you guys, like on the live streams, like when you get those tests, 
right? And it, sometimes it's very hard to look back at your test, and especially if you failed or you didn't do well, and you know to accept it, to to look at it and be like, hmm, I didn't do very well, or I didn't study, or I studied really hard, but I, you know, this test or this course or this teacher, or whatever, is very difficult. Well, I mean, the same thing can be said with like each and every year. And I think one of the the hardest things I think for students you know, growing up and for any parents or, you know, older students that are on this live stream can definitely agree with me is that there's going to be ups and downs, right? You're going to have your struggles. The more you put yourself out there, the more you challenge yourself, like there's going to be those ups and those downs. And I think one of the, the best things that we can learn from this is rather than, rather than getting down on yourself or considering yourself a failure or anything like that, um, you got to you got to be able to look at those failures and be like, what can I improve upon? Like, what can I improve? What steps can I make to have a better year? To have you know do better on my next test, uh, or to you know whatever way you can go ahead and improve. Because I, I think that one of the mistakes that students you know feel is like once they do good in a subject or you know they have maybe a good year, it's like this is the way things are always going to be. Right. And I think one of the things you always have to prepare for, like they talk about like, oh, 2023, like the recession and stuff. And then, and I was watching like Alone, which is actually a really cool documentary. I think it's on Discovery Channel. Uh, but one thing they're like talking about. So, you know, it's all these people that are in the um, in the wilderness and in the Arctic and they're all planning on, um, you know, preparing for winter. Right. It's prepare for winter, prepare for winter. And I think that's like the same thing. It's like, don't get overconfident because you did well, you know, this year or you did well last year. Um, you know, you still got to be putting in that hard work, you know, prepare for the time where um, you're going to be challenged or you're going to have that um, difficult course or a difficult test and everything like that. Like, don't get complacent um, with your set those lofty goals and just learn that those lofty goals like you're going to miss. Right. You're not going to make everything. And that's a great opportunity. You know, we call them a failure, but we also call it a great opportunity um, for you to learn from your from your mistakes and for you to learn for opportunities to get better. And, uh, you know, as a lot of you are looking into this year and, and I just want you to, I just want to kind of like inspire you a little bit to, you know, to look back into it and to, you know, just kind of see like, what are some things that you wanted to accomplish at the beginning of the year? Cause I think as a teacher, we can all agree at the beginning of the year, usually, you know, let's just talk about August. Like what is the most common thing? Students are motivated at the beginning of the year, right? You ever, you have everything organized, you're all ready to go. You put in that hard work. And then what happens? Then, you know, once grades start coming in or that you're starting to have the struggles, that worth, you know, how do I stay, how do I stay motivated? How do I keep my work, work ethic up and blah, 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 right? And, and then, yeah, then it kind of comes into this, oh crap, I got exams. Like I just got to push myself through, right? Put in that extra work, push yourself through. So now you're at this kind of point where now you have to reevaluate. It's like, hey, we're halfway, right? We got to go and finish this year off. So um, you know, even if you had a good part, like good part of the year, like sometimes like the third quarter, you know, that can be tough. Sometimes when you're a junior, senior, like your motivation is like done. And so, you know, I think it's really important to kind of like analyze, understand where you're at, understand what you else you need to get done, set up, set a goal, set some actions, set some planning steps and get after it. So, um, I think I'll definitely have some more things to add into this for, the end of the year or for next live stream. So I'll, uh, I'll put those all together. And um, if you guys do have any math questions, don't worry. I am going to be bringing back the open live Q and A's. <laughs> um, spicy noodles. I would say memorize things. Best way is memorize. <laughs> best way. Um, and, but, um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll be doing my open live Q and A's probably in that next week. Uh, not next week, but the first week yeah, the first week into the new year, I'll be uh, I'll be opening those back up. So, uh, but otherwise, I will uh, I'll have some more um, I'll have some more tips for you guys um, next week on my live stream. And so I see in the Loki way. Yeah, so uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the live stream. Thank you so much for joining me on tonight. Hope you guys had a have a great break. For those of you that have finished your midterms, for those of you that still have midterms, um, keep on studying. I wish you the best of luck, and uh, I will see you guys all next week. Oh, and also, yeah, wait, why is the show? Yeah, I guess it will show on my um, live stream on my shirt. I wanted to go and do that. But anyways, all right, guys, I will see you over. Cheers. Hey, Spice.